Hey, I'm Simon from FinSuite and this is the first video of the Client First Productivity Series where you will learn how you can improve your productivity in Webflow using the Client First style system. So the first question would be, why do we need to be more productive? And the answer is pretty straightforward. You can earn more money because you will get work done in less time if you're more productive. And additionally, you'll get to spend more time with your loved ones. And also you'll have more time to watch FinSuite videos and live streams, which is also a great thing. So how does Client First help you with your productivity in Webflow? There are many different reasons for this and we're going to cover most of them in this mini series. One of the reasons would be that you don't have to start your projects from scratch. All of our Client First resources include a style guide and the resources also come with a lot of different global classes. This will save you a lot of time because you don't have to, uh, to create the classes yourself anymore, which will save a lot of time. And the style guide is perfect to customize your build whenever you want to. The next productivity benefit of using Client First is that class naming becomes super easy and intuitive. You won't really have to think about class naming as much as before once you get used to the client first naming convention. This will also make it a lot easier for you to collaborate with other people because if you have worked with someone else on a project already, you probably know that something like this here, which I just prepared before from div one to maybe div a thousand is a lot harder to work with than clear descriptive class naming. Or do you think it would be easier to make changes? That actually leads us to the next point, which is making changes. As you have probably noticed, we're nesting a lot of different elements inside of each other in client first. This doesn't only make it easier for you and collaborators to understand what's going on everywhere, but it's also an awesome structure for you to make changes globally. So one example would be if we want to wanted to decrease the max width of the containers, we could just say we want to decrease it to 60 rems. And as you can see here, now everything is not as wide as it was before. And we can set it back to 80. And now you can see how it was before. And the same also goes for the page padding. We can set it to zero rem, for example. And now you can see that there's no padding anymore on the sides. So this is just an awesome thing to make changes really fast in your whole project. If you want to increase your productivity in Webflow, then make sure to check out finsuite.com slash client dash first to see the official documentation. Also get the main clonable, which has already been cloned for more than a thousand times or one of our nice client first templates. We even have wireframe kits for you to get started before we end this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the FinSuite YouTube channel for more awesome live streams and videos. See you soon and have a nice day.